the Prime Minister of the Independent State of Papua New Guinea, Your Honorable uh, Peter O'Neill. Your Excellency, the former President, Petepele Nailetikalo, and Nantikwela Nailetikalo. Cabinet Ministers, Excellencies, and uh, members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the Fiji PNG Business Council, ladies and gentlemen, Nisam Bulovinaka. Today, Your Excellency marks another important chapter in the 43 years of uh, relations between Fiji and Papua New Guinea. We have uh, come a long way since our newly independent nations forged diplomatic ties in September 1975. Given the importance we place on our bilateral relations, I am grateful that uh, Prime Minister O'Neill has accepted my invitation to come to Suva on his first official visit to Fiji. This day is a long time coming. Just this morning, the Honorable Prime Minister became only the second world leader ever to address our parliament, following in the footsteps of my friend, the Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of India, Narendra Modi. I also note that uh, Prime Minister O'Neill entered the chamber in the midst of our annual budget debates. But Excellencies, I promise that uh, tonight's celebration will be a much more cordial uh, environment. Your Excellencies, the Pacific neighbors and uh, Melanesian brothers, Fiji and Papua New Guinea are connected by centuries old traditions and friendship. <coughs> this long standing history is the strong foundation uh, we see on display here this evening a foundation that uh, will allow us to forge ahead with confidence in further improving our relationship. Over the years, this uh, relationship has evolved uh, to bolster growth and economic development, not only between our two countries, but to the greater Pacific region. But it's uh, about more than just uh, our two nations uh, share strategic partnership or regional economic leadership. It is a deeper kinship. In a prime example of this, Papua New Guinea provided a peaceful resting place in Rabol for over 30 Fijian soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice in Fiji's fight for regional peace and stability during World War II. Included in this list is, of course, Fiji's lone Victoria Cross recipient, the late uh, Sefania Sukunaiwalu. For this, Fijians are forever grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, while Papua New Guinea and Fiji are both economic leaders of the Pacific, each nation brings its own unique strength to the region. Papua New Guinea is uh, globally renowned for its uh, huge deposits of minerals and energy resources and the wealth it generates from these reserves. It has a population base of more than 8 million people, more than 800 different uh, dialects, and by far the largest Pacific Island country. Fiji, on the other hand, is at the crossroads of the Pacific. We take pride in our developed uh, financial sector, strong manufacturing base, a globally connected IT network, and a well-educated workforce. Between our two nations, uh, we have immense potential. When combined, these capacities can take both Fiji and Papua New Guinea, and indeed the entire region, to another level of development. The key to this progress lies in working together more closely, in harmony, uh, together. As leading economies in the region, both with strategic locations at the opposite ends of the Pacific, and key gateways to Asia and America, the opportunities for a future of uh, mutually beneficial collaboration are great. Fiji's bilateral trade relations with Papua New Guinea have grown over the years. After my visit in uh, 2013, our trade office was opened in Port Moresby, and while our trade relations may have experienced some challenges along the way, we managed to resolve our differences in the true Melanesian spirit. In an increasingly hostile world of global trade, 
this uh, model of Pacific problem solving is a model that uh, others would benefit from following. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in our 20-year national development plan, Fiji has identified the need to transform our nation into a modern center for business, of transport, communications and services. We view uh, connectivity both uh, domestically and internationally as key in our development aspirations. There is great uh, untapped potential for cooperation between Fiji and Papua New Guinea to achieve this goal. And by working together to build greater digital connectivity in the ICT sector, both of our countries would benefit from fostering this modern industry as the resulting high-skilled employment opportunities it would create. The new modern jobs will evolve and uh, diversify our economies, raise our uh, respective uh, population standards of living and create a brighter future for generations of both Fijians and Papua New Guineans. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our shared potential also extends into the skies. Both our national airlines are a vital asset to our economic growth. Just a few days ago, our national airline Fiji Airways launched its uh, inaugural flight to Narita. This uh, route has already opened new doors for tourists and business people alike, not only for Japan and Fiji, but uh, for all Pacific Islanders. And of course, in New Guinea, the national carrier of Papua New Guinea also connects uh, to Nandi, opening travel for their flyers to all major nations in the Pacific region. And to many Papua New Guineans, uh, Fiji is the primary gateway to North America and other countries that rim the Pacific Ocean. Therein lies uh, immense potential in this already valuable connection that uh, should be taken advantage of. As Fiji Airways continues to expand its uh, route, the value of this link to Papua New Guinea will only grow in the years ahead. Our airlines have already improved the integration between our two countries and our people, and I look forward to further building upon this progress. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as members of both the Melanesian Spearhead Group and the Pacific Islands Forum, both Fiji and Papua New Guinea are actively involved in our regional and sub-regional affairs. We are instrumental in many pivotal policy directions to further our regional priorities and decisions. Our regional security challenges have now shifted to adapt to an evolving geopolitical landscape. The porous nature of our borders, fragmented uh, nature of our small island nations, and our vast ocean space. These changes have made the region more vulnerable to new and emerging threats, such as terrorism, transnational and cyber crimes, changing weather patterns, and other natural calamities. The time is now for the region to stand together and fight for the safety of the future citizens of the Pacific. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our two countries have been at the forefront of regional and international leadership positions that have raised the needs of the Pacific into the international spotlight more than ever before, an accomplishment that could not have been achieved without the immense support we have received by our regional neighbors and friends. Fiji's current presidency of uh, COP23 and the outcomes we have achieved through this platform are proof of the paramount urgency we place on climate change and its impact in the region. Some of the milestone achievements of COP23 include the launch of the Talano Dialogue and the Ocean Pathway Partnership. These platforms have allowed the Pacific to take a leading role in championing deeper emissions reductions in compliance with the Paris Agreement. And they have injected the spirit of our people into the world's climate negotiations. To continue this momentum, I look forward to hosting our Pacific leaders at the upcoming Climate Action Pacific Partnership, CAP2, conference in Suva from 25th to the 27th of July of this year. This will serve as an uh, invaluable opportunity 
to strategize ahead of upcoming uh, COP24 in Poland and engage in a leaders' Talonoa dialogue that will become the region's flagship contribution to the COP process. I'm not actually looking forward to going to Poland for COP24, as it is in the middle of December, and I understand the snow will be up to your neck. Well, we have another six months to see the COP23 presidency through, and uh, Fiji values the continued and collective support of the region as we strive to conclude our COP chairmanship on a high note. By working together, the impact we achieve for the Pacific will last long, long after our presidency ends. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, Papua New Guinea now looks forward to hosting the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, APEC meeting in Port Moresby in November, an event that will bring together leaders and policy makers from over 21 different countries in the Asia-Pacific Rim. We are proud and confident that our friends in uh, Papua New Guinea will no doubt put together a memorable event that will not only be the envy of the world, but also the pride of the Pacific. I am confident that the upcoming APEC meeting in Port Moresby will provide an opportunity for dialogue that will see encouraging developments on a wider range of issues that, uh, much like COP23, will keep the collective interests of our region at heart. A forum that allows inclusive and equal participation of all its members is crucial if we are to pave a pathway for a future of stable and sustainable growth. I hope that this year's APEC will prove to be a tool to transform our nation's economies and most importantly, the lives of our people. Honorable Prime Minister, as we strive to consolidate and pursue our regional priorities amidst the competing demands uh, at the international front, I will conclude by saying that your visit to Fiji this week, sir, is a large step in the right direction. And together, there are many steps to come. As we look to the future, we can now do so with renewed vigor. Our more, more personal and direct partnership stands to benefit both our nations, our people, and all of the Pacific. I thank you once again for accepting my invitation, and I wish you the very best as you travel onward to Australia tomorrow. Thank you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I now propose that we raise our glasses. I wish to propose a toast to Fiji and PNG's strong, healthy, enduring friendship now and into the future. Bula. Thank you, Your Excellencies.